Okay, we're doing a question uh, from page 100 of our textbook. It's a practice exercise, and the question posed is, caproic acid is composed of C, H, and O. Combustion of 0.225 grams of this compound produces 0.512 grams of carbon dioxide and 0.209 grams of water. The question they ask is, what is the empirical formula of caproic acid? And then they say caproic acid has a molar mass of 116 grams per mole. What is its molecular formula? Okay, the first step in our combustion analysis is to understand that every bit of carbon dioxide that appears, every bit of carbon that appears in the form of carbon dioxide is coming from this unknown compound that we're burning. And every bit of hydrogen that appears in the water that's collected on the other side of the reaction is coming from the hydrogen that was present in our unknown compound. And the only three pieces of information we know are that one, we had 0.225 grams of this unknown compound being burned, two, that 0.512 grams of CO2 was produced, and three, that 0.209 grams of water was produced. So the first step for solving, to solve this problem, is to find out how many moles of CO2 we have. So I divide it by the molar mass of carbon dioxide, which is 44.0098. And then I found out that we had 1.16 times 10 to the minus 2 moles of carbon dioxide. If we have that many moles of carbon dioxide, that means we have the same number of moles of carbon coming from the unknown compound. And then it's also safe to say that if we have that many moles of CO2, uh, uh, moles of C, we can multiply by the molar mass of carbon find out how many grams of carbon were in the original unknown compound. We'll do the same thing with water. We had 0.209 grams of water. We divide by the molar mass of water to find that we had that many moles of water, 1.16 times 10 to the minus 2. But we have to recall that water's formula is H2O, which means that there are twice as many moles of hydrogen as there are moles of water. So we multiply by 2 to find out that the original compound, the unknown compound, had 2.32 times 10 to the minus 2 moles of hydrogen in it. We then multiply by the molar mass of hydrogen to find out that the compound had 2.33 times 10 to the minus 2 grams of hydrogen. We now know the grams of carbon and the grams of hydrogen contained by the compound. But the compound also contains oxygen. How are we going to find out how much oxygen was in the original compound? We'll simply subtract the masses of carbon and hydrogen that were in the original compound. This is the mass of carbon. This is the mass of hydrogen. So if we subtract that from 0.225, the number we get is uh, the mass of oxygen that was in the original, substance, the original compound. Once we have the mass of oxygen, mass of carbon, and mass of hydrogen, we divide by the molar mass of the total compound for each substance, multiply by 100, and turn them into percentages. To continue our calculation, we use our percent composition of our substance and we divide by the molar mass of each one of the constituent atoms. So for carbon, we divide by 12.011. For hydrogen, we divide by 1.00794 and 15.394 for oxygen. We get these ratios. And to turn the ratios into numbers that we can use, we divide the lowest, we take the lowest number in the ratio and divide all the numbers by it, thereby producing whole number ratios, 3, 6, 1. That's our empirical formula. So the empirical formula of our unknown compound, which is caproic acid, is C3H6O. From this empirical formula, we find out the empirical formula weight. It turns out to be 58.08 grams per mole. But we're told that the formula weight is 116. So 116 divided by the empirical formula weight will give us another ratio very close to 2. And that tells us that we have to multiply the empirical formula by 2 to get the actual formula. So the actual formula of caproic acid is C6H12O2.